Inside of M-Series, queues and queue lists are the primary ways of storing queues that you've created in the programmer for easy playback later. Queues are stored in queue lists that are then played back in order or out of order as you go through your show. Let's create our first queue list. I'm going to go ahead and select these quantum profiles and I'm going to navigate to bank 16 because I know that that bank is empty on this demo show file. That way, we'll have lots of space to work with to create our queues. We're then going to go and take our Mac quantum profiles to full, take them to the home position, and we'll turn them red. Perfect. Now let's go ahead, press record, and record this to a queue list by clicking on the playback we want to record it to. This is how we create our first queue list, our first queue in it. At this point, we can type the name, red, on stage we'll call this, and we can choose the type of queue list. For this example, we're just going to stick with the standard queue list, which is color coded red. Press enter, and the command is executed. We can now see that in this queue list, red on stage, we now have one queue, and the fader is at 100%. We can double click or move the fader on our console if we want to change that level. Now let's create another queue on the same queue list. So we're going to take our quantum profiles and now we're going to point them at the base. We'll press record, click on our existing queue list, and we've now added a second queue on that same queue list. We can see that we have two queues on the queue list display. It's generally a good idea, especially when you're starting out, to go ahead and record all your queues in order without clearing your programmer. That way, you'll know what the queues are going to look like exactly when you play them back. Now you've recorded your first queue list. You can go ahead and press clear twice to clear your programmer, and then press play either here by double clicking on the playback and pressing the play button, or by pressing play on your console surface to watch the queues that you've just recorded playback live on the stage.